Hey guys, how you doing? Somebody asked me, hey Uncle Stefan, I've been working with PHP for the last four years. Now I want to switch to Python and I've been searching, but at the moment, very few companies accept this situation, at least on the job descriptions. I'm not sure what he means by that. I don't know if he means that people ex are not accepting a PHP veteran switching to Python or is he's not just finding very many Python jobs. It's not clear. Do you think I must follow my idea of switching languages or wait and keep working with PHP while the recession is happening? Thanks for any advice. All right, so number one, especially during a recession, I would highly advise against quitting your current job before finding a new one. During a recession, you don't know what will happen. A recession is a slowdown of the economy. It could last a year. It could last uh, eight months. It could last 15 months. You don't know. So if you have a steady flow of income, I would strongly suggest you stay there and keep that money flowing and uh, start cutting expenses, build up some emergency FU money, as I've talked about in several videos. So you're in a good position. In terms of switching from PHP to Python, when you look at any new technology to jump into, you have to look at the market, not just the technical merits of the technology itself. So you may think that Python, for example, is the bee's knees. You think it's the best thing out there since sliced bread, but it may not be in terms of the job market where you live. Now, I don't know, every region of the world, Germany, France, United States, California, New York, whatever, Florida, you're going to find that the market, uh, you know, whatever, I can name other places around the world, but you get the idea. You'll find that markets differ. Look at the job market, start looking at requirements, maybe call up people and reach out to them, uh, business owners or, rec or recruiters or whatever. And before you start investing your time into learning a new technology and f before you start jumping through hoops, figure out what, where the demand lies, figure out what people want, right? Don't listen to what somebody on YouTube will tell you because you know, my market here up here in Canada will be, probably be different from where you happen to be living in the world. This brings up another subject I like to uh, touch on from time to time. Being a professional developer, being a professional has much more to do than just the technical skills uh, like the coding itself. You have to have uh, good communication skills. You gotta be aware of how the job market works, how to apply to jobs, how to network for jobs. These are all very important aspects of being a professional. That's why doing a simple course on a language and you know, doing a React course or a Python Django course and doing the tutorial, uh, presenting the tutorial project you learned from that course as, uh, as your gateway to get the job, especially during recessions, is gonna be much more difficult. What you need to do is you have to really work on um, developing these professional contacts and these professional experiences. As I say over and over again, as we do in my boot camp, my mentoring program, you have to go out there. Once you have your fundamentals down, you have to go out there and build some real projects. You have to build something that you can show and say, look, I built this for this client here. The client could be a small coffee shop. It could be a local butcher, a local, a local auto repair shop, what have you. See, the key thing, is you need to show prospective employers or clients if you're gonna go freelancing. You have to show them that you can actually work with people. You can deliver on requirements. When you show them a project from a course that you've done online, it's not really very, uh, it doesn't give confidence, right? If I'm hiring somebody and all they do, all they have is a school project or a course project, that doesn't, uh, it gives me no confidence in the individual. It really doesn't because Building a tutorial where you just grab off the web and copy it, right, and there's no verification, is not even close to, uh, to the real thing, you know? It's not really close to the real thing. An analogy I could make, it would be like perhaps comparing you having played uh, a bunch of combat video games versus you having done a bunch of ring fighting for real. Who would you rather have as your bodyguard? The person who played the combat video games or the person who's actually been in a bunch of real ring fights? 
That's uh, it's not a perfect analogy, but it gives you an idea what I'm talking about here. So yeah, go out there and get some real skills. To recap, I would not jump away from my PHP job until I have secured employment in the new job 100%. Don't kill the cash cow until you have a new cow. All right, I hope that helps. My name is Steph. Some people call me Uncle Steph. You can check on the links below. I have a newsletter. I have a, uh, a site training automation course called Lizard Wizard Komodo and a course as well. And I do have a bootcamp mentoring program for those who want to really step up the game. If you think that learning from and having live coaching sessions with a veteran developer from 1994, check out my bootcamp. All right, guys and gals, cheers. Thank you.